Look, trying to get around what the hell taken is out. even that? That's interference. Found the net. Centers. Pasternak. Well, that was an ugly one for a couple of different reasons. What are you doing, referees? But that's the way she goes. And despite all that, there were some really great moments in this game. Let's talk about it. We're going to do things a little bit differently this time. We're going to recap the game right from the start. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And here we go. So Brendan Gallagher gets the game rolling with the first goal. That was from a feed from Armia and secondary from Hudson. So we're eight minutes into the game and three players who I feel really deserve points have points. Not to mention, it was also a power play goal. If you're keeping track, that's two power play goals in two games for the Canadians. Next, the Boston Bruins break it up with their own goal. They've now won 12 of 16. McAvoy shoots. He's caught! Charlie McAvoy with the feed from Rat Meshant. They're tied at one. But then, about a minute later... Voilà Hudson. Voilà Rondelle. Hudson de Londres. René derrière. Huge goal from Caulfield. Gooley and Hudson get the helper. That's two helpers for Hudson this game. He's finally getting some points. Took him two games to do it. Jeez. But that also makes two goals and two games for Caulfield. It's happening. It's all coming together. But just like that, it all comes apart. Separation. Play the low high game. Find open space. Attack the net. Kastelik gets a really nice goal, actually. Then Lindholm, sadly, puts in a muffin on Primo. So all of a sudden, at the end of the first, it's 3-2 Bruins. It gets worse from here. The second period is all Bruins. Hard there as well. Zaka protects. Pavel Zaka. Round the net. Centers. Pasternak. Score! Pasternak pots one. I'm going to blame Barre, Boulet, and Gallagher a little bit on this one. They should have been covering Pasternak a little bit. But it also would have been really nice if Primo would have stopped this. But this is also the goal that from the start of the video where there was a missed call. And if you're watching the game, all the air is let out of the room at this point. Montreal was keeping pace. They were making their own mistakes. But after the goal from Pasternak, it felt like the energy level just dipped. So I wonder what this game would have looked like if instead they were called for the penalty on that play for interference. Montreal goes on a power, flip, power play, gets a goal. It's now tied up 3-3. And there's even more bullshit goals by Boston coming up. Beecher, a step. Beecher cutting in. Try to drive and score. Second effort. It's Old Kepke pushes in the garbage goal, and the second period is done. Austin now leads 5 2. Things aren't looking good. Austin's cheering, ole, ole, ole. As the Boston faithful serenading the Montreal Canadiens. Get a shot of Anderson looking dejected. And then what happens very next play? NHL goal versus Boston. Came in as a rookie and led all. Defenseman score! Gooley takes a shot from the point. Anderson deflects it. It's a beautiful goal. Oh, so beautiful. So elegant. Just looking like a wow. Throw them in front of the net more often. Anderson, if you're not driving the play, I've heard a couple of those deflections. Then guess who? Back in for Gallagher. Is that a strong game? He cuts it again with Evans. Jake Evans. In front. Gallagher score! Brendan Gallagher again with the feed from Jake Evans and Joel Armia. It's now within one, four, five. If you take away those fake goals by Boston, Montreal's winning. But then like 15 seconds later, Pasternak gets his second goal from a total fluke. You could never make this goal happen ever again. The angle is just wild. They try pulling Primo. They get some okay opportunities. There's also a couple of scary empty net situations, but ultimately they can't find those two other goals. The game ends four to six. Like I said, this could have gone a different way. I don't feel bad about this game. There was a lot of good things that happened. There was a lot of bad things that happened. When they came back from the first intermission, Maltin St. Louis changed up the lines a little bit. Fkovsky got a demotion to line two and Lane Hudson got put on the first pairing. So that means Josh Anderson was now on the first line and Mike Matheson was playing with Savard. It was a fun little experiment. I didn't really notice any moments of brilliance. They were just kind of keeping things going. But when Lane Hudson gets the puck, you feel like anything can happen. I'm really glad that he got those points tonight. I thought Josh Anderson looked great. Gallagher obviously had a great game. 
You can tell he was really into it. When Gallagher gets into the game, he's really, really taking things seriously. The only other things that I can think of was at one point, Jack I kind of told Marshawn to f off. It looked like Marshawn was trying to draw a penalty, but the refs weren't falling for it for once. And then Marshawn took a really bad penalty as the minutes were kind of dying down. It was a delay of game penalty. I think that they might have been better off calling it unsportsmanlike. He was in the offensive zone and it appeared like he purposefully put the puck out of play, which is unsportsmanlike. I don't know if you can call this a delay of game. What does the rule book say? I guess it, uh, that, it, that it would be a delay of the game. From the rule book, a minor penalty is also given to a player who deliberately bats or shoots the puck outside of the playing surface from any location on the ice. The play results in a minor penalty if the puck is knocked out of the rink either during the action or after a whistle. Oh, there was also a delay of game when McAvoy, I think, knocked when he knocked the, the net over. I don't know if I have footage of that. If I do, I'll play it here. Oh yeah, I do have footage of that because the referee almost almost bowls Swayman over afterward. That was kind of funny. But uh yeah, that was that was kind of it. It was it was an aggravating game in a way because I felt the refs were missing a lot. There's a lot of fumbles. Primo didn't look good. He's got to be disappointed with himself after that. I think Montembeau would have also changed the tide of this game. So to recap, Hudson again impressed me. I'm glad to see Gallagher have a really good night. Anderson had a good night, which is huge for him. Maybe he just needs the confidence to get going. New season. Everything last year is forgotten. I don't know if everybody understands just how bad and off last season was for Josh Anderson. He's capable of doing much better than he did last season. If he can only play up to the standards that he had created for himself every other season, he'll be a contributing factor to a lot of won games. Caden Gooley looked sharp. He was making good defensive plays. Jack I made a couple of really good defensive plays and he was pulled back. I don't think that he necessarily needed to enforce at all this game, but there was definitely some big hits that could have been followed up on. I remember Zadorov hitting Doc. Zadorov was trying to hit Hudson. Hudson's tough to hit. I worry that it's only going to take one, but he's he's really tough to hit. Caulfield looked really good. Slavkovsky again. I think that Mar Martin St. Louis is a little bit disappointed with him. He's got to take some more risks. He's a big body. He knows what to do with the puck. He needs to drive some plays and make something happen. But it's just game two. They're still finding the groove. Kirby Doc's out there grinding it, but he hasn't played since 1997. Give him a little bit of opportunity to let the joints loosen up, you know? But that's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really, really appreciate the support. Thank you so much for commenting, liking, subscribing on that last video. It was huge for me. I love seeing all the comments. I love responding to your comments. There's some really funny members of my audience that are commenting on these videos. I hope you're enjoying the content. I, I'm really enjoying making it. So again, like, subscribe, and as always, I'll see you down below in the comments.